The full slate administrator will send you an email invitation to join. This provides a link for you to create an account. Here you click on the Need Account and fill in the details. Here you'll fill in your email, your first name and last name, and a password. Retype the password and remember it. If you lose it, it will have to be reset by the administrator. Finally, click OK. You'll now see the login screen. This is what you'll see whenever you need to access Full Slate. Enter your password. Finally, click OK. This is your home page. On the left is the navigation. This is a little news section from Full Slate. And this is your calendar for the next two days, obviously blank at the moment. This section is for new appointments, either booked by you, or booked by the administrator, or online by the clients directly. I'll go briefly through the tabs, and then come back to schedule, where you do most of your work. This is the client tab. You can find an existing client by entering the name, email or phone number here, and this will include clients that have self-registered online. You can also create a new client by clicking on the New Client button here and filling in the blanks. You need to collect the first name, the last name, the phone number, preferably mobile to receive text, and email if possible. There is also a section down here for notes and some other fields which you might want to use. The next tab is the Messages tab. This is a record of all automatically generated appointment emails to clients. Finally, back to Schedule. The first thing to do is to change weekdays to week. You can create a new appointment, any, a new appointment anywhere, but the client booking on the website is limited to these white areas. Default hours available are the MTG office hours. You might want to cut it down a bit. The easiest way to do this is to blank out the whole week and then open up times that you're available. So I'm going to go to Edit Hours, Change Available to Unavailable to Clients, then I'm just going to highlight the whole area. You'll notice how the unsaved areas of change are yellow. It's ready to go. I just click Save. And we've now blanked out all the default hours. Next, I'll define my available hours. So I'm going back into Edit Hours. This time, I'm going to make it available. Select Available to Clients to book appointments. Um, here you can book reoccurring appointments, so this is every week, every other week, every three weeks, etc, etc. Um, you can limit uh, how long you want to book through. If you don't check this, then it will go on forever. So we're going to leave it to every week, because I want to book out the same time each week. I'm going to book out Monday from, uh, from 9 o'clock through to... Seven. Monday, and I'm going to do the same thing for Thursday. I click Save, and I just want to take off that mistake. Edit hours again, unavailable to clients, save. 
And there we are. I've set up uh, the hours that you're available for automatic booking from the website. Of course, as I say, you can book any, any way you like. Next, I'll create an appointment. The best way to do this is to click, click directly on the schedule. So I'll just click here. And here we see the details of the appointment. First thing you want to do is pick the service. And you'll probably choose one of these three, 30 minute, 60 minute, 90 minute, or the 20 minute chiropractic special. So let's do a 60 minute, which is the most common. And next you want to enter the client. Uh, you can create a new new client the way we saw when we looked at the clients or we can do a look up now we have created the appointment we just need to save it and we want to make sure that the send client confirmation is checked it, it, it's checked by default so i'll do save oops so there you go Let's move that forward. Save. This is the uh, email which will go out and you can add anything you like into this. Click OK. And that's one appointment made. If you need to block out time for yourself, the process is very similar. This time you want to click on the personal. Um, it's very similar to making an appointment except you don't have to put in any client. You have the same ability to make it repeat. You can set the times. So I'm going to make it... Uh, I'm going to make it... Let's see. 30 through to 7 o'clock. Save. Have the ability to add notes if you want to. You get the idea. Save. And there we go. Back to home. And I think that's pretty well it. Then you can just log out.